Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Another way to gather information in your notebooks is to send it directly to OneNote from its destination source. For example, if you have content in Microsoft Word or that you come across on the internet, you can send that information directly to OneNote without having to go through the steps of copying and pasting, etc. To send content to OneNote from an application such as Microsoft Excel or Word, first open the document with the information that you want to send. Then choose the print option within that particular application. In Microsoft Word 2013, I'll click the File tab to enter Backstage View, and then choose the Print command on the left-hand side. In the Printer drop-down area here, we'll make our choice. You'll see all the different printers that we have available to choose from, but in this case what we want is Send to OneNote 2013. Give that a click. Once you make that selection, just click the Print button. OneNote will then launch the Select Location in OneNote dialog box, which is part of the Quick Filing feature of OneNote. This feature allows you to insert the content directly into a page without having to first place it in the Quick Notes or Unfiled Notes section and then moving it later. You click to choose the page where you wish to store the information. Now, if it was recently used, it might be in the Recent Picks area here at the top. Otherwise, you can select it by clicking on the small plus signs to the left of the folders, sections, and pages to navigate to the correct page. Here's our Products section. There's our page that we want right there. When you're ready, you just click OK to print it which actually inserts it into your OneNote page like we see here. Now let's take a look at internet browsers. Some internet browsers allow you to right click on a web page and choose the send to OneNote command to launch the quick filing feature. Let's take a look at this. We'll open up Internet Explorer and we are on a Microsoft page here. Let's right click here and see if we have that option. There it is, send to OneNote. But again, depending on your internet browser, you might not have that option. So if that's not a choice in your web browser, you can click and drag to highlight just the content you want to save. We'll just highlight that content right there. And then choose the print option. which will launch the print dialog box in this case. Now note in this case we would make the same choice to send to OneNote like we have right here. Now also notice that it gives you different abilities to print or send certain information to OneNote and that's down in the page range section. You can choose all or you can choose just what's selected by giving that a click instead and then when you're ready you can just click print. And again we'll see the select location in OneNote dialog box. Again you would go ahead and navigate to the page and click OK to print it in there. And there's our information. Now version 2013 of OneNote improved the Send to OneNote tool and has made it even easier to clip and save information as you go. In OneNote, you can tap the Windows button and the N on your keyboard to open the Send to OneNote tool. The tool can be kept minimized in the background and in your taskbar while you work in other applications. Let's go ahead and switch back to our internet page that we're on and we'll go ahead and launch that Send to OneNote tool. Again, it's Window and N. 
In this case then, all you need to do is click the Send to OneNote tile right there in the middle. And in the Select Location in OneNote dialog box that opens up again here, you select the notebook and section and page where you want to place the clipping or the document. Go to Products and we'll choose our Microsoft Office again and then click OK to send it there. And in this case then we'll see that we recovered the entire page because we didn't make any selections at all and we sent the entire page to OneNote. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.